Hello everyone, Libra, let's get started with your new love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the collective. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Libra. Messages for Libra, clear, helpful, good messages for Libra from Spirit about new love. All right, so let's cut this deck and see what is going on. All right, Libra, new love. You have seven of swords. <laughs> Somebody is trying to find you, Libra, and you are checking other people out online. I would say this could even mean somebody is driving by your house. So in terms of new love, you know, that, that can be a blockage or it can be a help. So we will find that out. In the recent past, your energy is the sun card. That is you know, you're just feeling really good about yourself. You're enjoying the summer. If summer is what's going on in your area of the world, you are feeling happy, joyful. You're filled with laughter. You're attracting that into your life. You may be attracting a Leo into your life in the recent past. Look at this, the two happiest cards in the deck. Currently, you're in this beautiful Piscean energy. Eat, drink, be merry, have fun. It looks as though you are attracting somebody who loves to laugh, who loves to have a good time, who absolutely has also this strong Leo energy in which they can really go the distance. You are looking for your bliss, for your happiness, and that's what you're attracting. Let's see how you are viewing the future of your love life. You are off on a new adventure. You're throwing your hat in the ring, so to speak. You're really happy. You're excited. You are anxious to get going. You are reading the tea leaves that life has to offer, the messages from spirit, but you are abundantly happy, joyful, and you are bringing your best self to the table. How people view you, they view you. Now, this is really interesting, Libra. You are being viewed by others as somebody who is kind of quiet. You're holding back. So what I would say is that what, what I'm seeing is that you're very watchful. It looks as though at some point in the recent past, you've had a very, very ugly experience with somebody, somebody who was not kind to you, somebody who was very, you know, really uh, sort of ridiculous with you is what I'm getting here. But the good news is, is that here you are in your reading, just really loving life, loving the adventure. How other people see you can be quite erroneous. The Four of Pentacles says to me that you're going to hold out for what you want. You only want something close to your heart of value. That people are seeing you as picky, picky, picky. That's okay. It's okay to be picky, picky, picky. Because look at you're beautiful, you're fun, you're adventurous, you're joyful, you're intelligent, you know, you're really, you're like this incredible person and people are, you're really high value in terms of your energy that you're bringing into dating. Let's see in your heart space. Oh, look at that. An offer is coming in. That is earth sign energy. Ace of coins looks as though someone is going to fall in love with you pretty quickly here and make a significant offer sometime, I would say, within the next year and a half. All right. We look at the way your people are viewing the situation with you. So you have suitors or people pursuing you who have fire in their belly. You may be meeting a Sagittarius. This person is really very watchful. They've had enough of life to know what they want. They have the willingness to do the work, and that is a key ingredient of what you want. You are not going to put up with anybody here, Libra, that doesn't bring value to the table. It's fine to have fun with people who are filled with laughter to go out, eat, drink, and be merry, but you are really looking for a person of value and people, you're radiating that message very successfully. We're gonna find out what this is in the near future here. That's sort of a weird card, right? The crows are telling the truth like Libra, Libra, warning, warning. Okay, so what's hidden right now that people don't see about you is that you've had a tough journey in love and you have walked away from something or someone who just didn't simply give you what you needed and the person was burdensome, they had their own baggage and you've just decided to pack things in and leave for a happier time. 
you're no longer going to be in an energy of being overwhelmed or being with anybody who's deceptive. You are really true to yourself you're, and you're very innocent and sweet as you come out here, putting yourself out in the world in this beautiful energy. It's just, you're like a, a beautiful firefly in a mysterious summer night. Look at this, spirit is saying you have the strength, you are attracting someone who is very strong. You might be attracting a Leo, very strong Leo energy. We have Sagittarius energy here twice. We have some good earth sign energy, which I like for grounding. And people who are emotionally happy, you are attracting a really nice caliber of people, people with whom, um, you know, they've worked through their issues, so to speak, and they're ready for love on the same level you are. Your outcome card for your new love coming in. Queen of Pentacles, I like it. You're attracting somebody who's Capricorn energy, who really knows the value of a relationship. They have a good career. This is a person who's very nurturing, who's very giving, who's very intelligent, but also is kind of a no BS kind of a person. They live well, they work well, they have life balance, and they know how to run their life in a very successful way. So let's go through and clarify these cards now and see. What is the Seven of Swords here? What is that crazy energy? Now, I would almost say, now that can be you on the internet skulking around and looking at profiles, okay? But let's see. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Oh my God, that's so funny. It's so funny that that's exactly what you're doing. You're really checking people out covertly. So I like that. That's a much better energy than... Um, you know, but you're also doing it because there was someone in your past. So it looks as though you're very happy right now. You're having fun. You're playing detective. You're not letting people, you know, know what you're up to here. You're very observant at this time and you are looking for the crows of truth. You want to know the truth before you invest in a passionate new beginning. Look at this, another ace coming out here. You have great clarity. You want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I love it. A very, very strong start to a reading. My goodness. Okay. So what do we have here for the sun card? Tell us something. You may be, it's, well, some people are checking you out like crazy. Whether it's your social media, whether it's a dating website, you are attracting a lot of people who are a lot of fun, uh, who like to be happy, who have their life together, who are bringing something of great value to the table, who have also dealt with the things in their life that didn't work out. So I see happy endings here. That Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment for you, Libra. Okay, so let's tell us something more about the Sun card. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You may be attracting a Leo. You're getting a lot of attention. You're in the spotlight. If you would like to get more attention, you can also, you know, put... I think on the dating apps, they have paid options, but it looks like you don't need that. But if you want it, you are going to have many, many opportunities to find love. Look at this. Currently, you have someone that you're very interested in. We have three of wands energy. That's Aries energy. Somebody who, that you think could be the one. This person makes you laugh. They make you feel happy about your life. You know, you feel happy about your life, but they like to share their happiness with you. That is your ship has arrived in the harbor. So what that tells me is that you're already manifested. You've manifested this new love situation, relationship, a new love partner coming in. Why do we have the fool card here? Ten of cups. That's the way you view your life going forward. You are manifesting this beautiful Piscean love based on emotion, not based on some sort of other value. What we see is that you want someone for their heart space, the nine to the 10 of cups, beautiful energy. You're willing to hang out and take your time, look at people, learn about them. You're not going to rush into anything as we can see from the hanged man. You know, you're just looking at things from a different perspective. You're being very open-minded. You're just out there to, you're in it to win it in the most beautiful, sensual, emotional, practical, lovely way energetically. 
let's see why we have this Capricorn energy here. The way people view you, hanged man. Okay, the hanged man. So people are watching you, watch them. <laughs> they see you not making a, an immediate decision. You're not going to make a commitment. You're hanging out and having fun. We also get this strong Leo energy. People really feel as though you're a strong person. You're lovely. Again, tons of Leo energy here. A lot of it. I had it in the Gemini reading too. Let's see. What do we have here in the as the at the heart space of this reading is an engagement ring. Look at this. A marriage, a traditional marriage. That is your inner Buddha. That is your person, your guides from spirit leading you to a beautiful relationship in which you can plan a future, somebody who's very ascended, somebody who can ascend with you. You are attracting, this can be um, Taurus energy, that you're attracting a Taurus, but you're attracting somebody who is kind of traditional in their beliefs, but um, maybe not necessarily hardcore like religion, but very, very, very strong convictions about their philosophy in life, very successful. This person's very well balanced. They bring a lot to the table, but they bring a lot of enlightened space. The head space, the heart space of this person is beautiful energy, very nurturing. The happy Buddha. <laughs> Let's look and see. You have fire in your belly. Somebody has fire in their belly for you. The Ace of Wands is making a big, a big move forward for you. The Ace of Wands is all of your fire sign energies. It's Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So they are all very good candidates for you at this time. And the reason they're good candidates is because they're very collaborative. They know how to, to work well, play well with others, to collaborate, to create something bigger than the two of you. And what we see here in terms of what you've left behind, you are rebirthing your love life now. You've left behind the burdens. You've left behind toxicity. We see Scorpio energy here in your love life. We also see that you walked away from somebody quite literally for more emotional well-being and health and happiness. You gave up the burdens that went with it, the sleepless nights that went with it, Libra. Oh, with all the, yeah, it's been tough on you in the last few years. And the Four of Wands, you are stable, you are strong. That allowed you to walk away. You have a clear vision of what you want, and you're getting it. This is a manifestation of your dreams. This is your rebirth. This is what you're heading for. Your ships have already come in in the, in the 5D. You're in beautiful space. Spirit is saying, stay strong, stay beautiful, and love deeply. You have the strength to love so deeply, Leo. The Queen of Cups energy, somebody who can be very tender, very kind, very loving, very, very, very emotionally in touch with what makes you happy and very emotionally supportive and loving to the people around you. I think you love bomb people just as a natural part of your energy. So what we see here for your outcome is that dating is going to take a bit for you to find your person as you know, the usual suspects are out there in the dating world who make beautiful offers. But what I see you doing is that though you could be tempted by somebody who comes in, that's very good looking, that, you know, looks well, I don't even know what to say, they, but they have an offer with strings attached. So let's look, that could be Capricorn energy twice. It could be somebody who also works a lot, but I don't mind Capricorn energy with the Capricorn queen because it does tell me that if you're going to be tethered to somebody, they better bring the right stuff to the table. But let's, let's I'm gonna look at the toxicity with the Oracle cards because the devil always has, sell your soul to the devil is a saying for a reason. Your outcome card says that you're not necessarily going to be with this person forever, but in the near future, this is a person that will be making a very strong plea and a very strong effort to win your attention. Knight of Cups, you also have Pisces coming in. All right, so nice romantic energy. The Three of Cups with the Ace of Coins. Where do, yep, the Ace of Coins. Three of Cups, the Ace of Coins says that 
probably within a six month period, you will know whom you are likely to become engaged to. Now let's look and see what else. Beautiful. The ace of coins on top of the three of cups. That is a double truth, a double whammy of pleasure. What is with this devil card? Why is a devil card in your outcome as a clarifier for the queen? Ah, somebody who moves really slowly. Ah, somebody who has a tendency to ghost. Somebody who is unfair. Somebody who doesn't want to hear. Okay, so some of you are going to come across, you're going to come across a person that you should not be involved with. So be on the lookout for somebody who exhibits this nature because this is not the nature you're supposed to have. You're going to be with somebody. You're going to, you know, stick to your goals and allow somebody to come in romantically, allow them to move slowly, make sure that their value system is what you think it should be. This is this person. This is that energy. And this person's going to love bomb you. They're going to make themselves indispensable to you, but there is a very high price tag. So if somebody comes in and says, I love you in a week, run for the hills, people, run for the hills. Take the partner that comes in that's more grounded, more down to earth, but if they come in and you think it's too good to be true, you know, they will try to show themselves as being. The devil energy is really showing that, that, your person is going to try to come in like very logical, very stable. Oh, I'm just, you know, I move slowly. I'm very careful in relationships. This person isn't careful. They're kind of, they're toxic. Be on the lookout. But look at what you have here. You have this beautiful Hierophant energy. You have some beautiful Scorpio and Leo energy. And you can just totally ignore that damn devil. So let's look what the Moonology deck has for you because we do have the new moon in Cancer, a beautiful time in which to heal relationships, in which to find new love. Let's see what we have for you with the Moonology Oracle. And then we're going to also pick up the, uh, the wisdom from the shaman's dream about that devil energy and see what the shaman's dream has to tell you about it. We might pull a couple of others also, but right now... Moonology, what is the, what is spirit and nature trying to tell you? A personal issue, oh, look at this, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. You are not about to entertain the devil. He will catch your eye for a few minutes, quote unquote, he, she, whoever, but we see you in this profoundly beautiful energy that says that you're not going to fall into any traps at all. Whatever personal issues from the past may have haunted your relationships, they are totally resolved. Let's look and see what we have here for the Keepers of the Light Oracle message and see. I did pre-shuffle everything, of course. Okay. Mahavatar Babaji soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connection between all things. Okay, so you're on it. So we're just going to just turn this devil and all of that negative energy. We're going to just ba-boom. Take that. Take that, spirit. <laughs> Take that. That's what you have coming in, Libra. Just be on the lookout. You already know. You already have the vision. Take care. Thanks a lot, Libra.